So for our next discussion, we will discuss about vectors directed along a line. So a good application of this topic is using the concept of position vectors in solving uh, force vectors directed along a line. So an example of that is this one. Let's say we have here a vector which is directed from point A to point B. So this is the vector F. We use a force vector, let's say a force vector F. And you want to determine the vector notation or vector representation of that force vector F. So as you can see, the force vector is directed from two points in space, which have a given coordinates, let's say xA, yA, and zA for point A. And we have xB, uh, yB, and zB for point B. So good thing here is in calculating the unit vector of the force vector F, we just need to use the position vector, which is the vector R measured from point A to point B. So as you can see, uh, since the unit vector lambda is equal to both the position vector R and force vector F, uh, we can say that the lambda for or the unit vector that we can use for the force vector is equal to the position vector RAB divided by its magnitude. So the formula will look like this. So force vector F is equal to its magnitude times the unit vector directed from A to B. Then this unit vector directed from A to B can be replaced with the ratio of the position vector RAB and its magnitude. So since we already know the concepts of uh, how to calculate the position vector R and its magnitude, so we can apply those concepts and, and apply, the, uh, apply those principles in solving a vector or force vector F directed from two points in space. So the formula will look like this. So in my technique or in my way in solving this type of problem, I always use the concept of the triangle law, meaning uh, I will use this vector right here. This is xb minus xa. And we have this one. This is yb minus ya. And we have this one. Uh, ZB minus ZA. So these three components of the position vector uh, is this, which is this one. That is the three components, X, Y, Z components of the position vector R. So I always use the concept of the triangle law, connecting the components into a head-to-tail manner, then getting the position vector R, which is this one, and that way, uh, I don't need to get the components, which is, or the coordinates of the two points in the space, because you can easily get the distance between these points right here uh, in a given figure. So let us have here an example of vectors directed along a line. So as you can see, we have here a cable attached to an eye bolt, which is at point A here. This is the eye bolt. Then we have uh, determine, or shall we say we have a force F with a magnitude of 500 pounds, which is directed from this point right here, which is from point A to point B. So the question is determine the vector representation of this force uh, if its magnitude is 500 pounds, which is given. So you want to know the components fxi plus fyj plus fzk. So by inspection, actually, you can determine the directions of the vectors because as you can see, for x component, we have a negative value because the force is going backwards from point A to point B. Then we have the y component is going to the right. So that is positive. So this is negative, this is positive, and the Z component is going downward because point A is above point B. So 
so this is fz so this is uh, going uh, downward so that is negative so next thing to do is uh, first of course let's have a calculation of the force vector f which is using the formula f times lambda where f is the magnitude which is 500 pounds so as i said earlier unit vector is can be calculated using the position vector rab over its magnitude so since the force vector is uh, the same direction with the position vector rab so we can use the same unit vector from the position vector so let's first calculate the uh, unit vector so as you can see this is the uh, position vector rab so its components are this one so we have i will use the concept of triangle law so that is the x component the y component and the z component so as you can see we have the x component is negative 4 i because it's going to the negative direction of the x-axis then we have the positive 6j uh, then we have the negative 3k which is going downward so basically the position vector is negative 4i plus 6j minus 3k by using the uh, triangle law connecting the components into a head to tail manner uh, next one is we calculate its uh, unit vector by calculating its its magnitude so i will directly use it in the formula here for unit vector lambda so negative 4i plus 6j minus 3k which is the unit uh, unit vec uh, the position vector r divided by its magnitude which is we already know the formula so we can get the unit vector lambda and after calculating the unit vector lambda, we can use it here by multiplying F, which is 500 pounds, times the unit vector that we already calculated. So multiplying 500 pounds to each component of the unit vector, we can get the answer. So this one right here is the vector representation of the force vector f which is directed from a to b so as you can see i uh, as i said a while ago uh, negative for fx because this is fx and positive for fy which is this is fy then negative for fz so to have a good comprehension of the figure or shall we say we can understand the figure more so the force vector will look like this so this is the components xyz components of this force vector f with magnitude of 500 pounds so this is how you break down a force vector directed from two points in space into its components by making or showing its vector representation so again we will have some practice problems so that you can try solving your own problems first then check what you have learned from my video and improve your problem solving skills so we have here our first problem so again before you play the feed uh, before you answer start answering the problem take a pause first in this video then solve on a piece of paper and after you're finished then you can continue playing the video and check the answer so the answer for this problem our first problem is so for our next problem for vectors directed along a line so we have here our second problem So the answer for our second problem is so thank you for listening on my lecture video so please like this video and click the subscribe button so that you will be updated 
for my la- latest videos that I will upload soon and later on our later videos so that you can I can help you more on your studies especially in your engineering mechanics class so please don't forget to like and subscribe